Yeah, the next topic we are doing in under gases is understanding what pressure is. So in this video, you will learn about pressure, its definitions, and the units we use to measure it, and the formula for pressure, P equals H D G. So pressure, what's pressure? So collision of gas molecules with the walls of a container defines the pressure exerted by a gas. So if you consider a container as shown over there and it has few uh, molecules on it and we'll call it as A. So we can have one more container which has got the blue molecules and you can see that the number of molecules in B is less as compared to A and hence pressure in container A will be more than the pressure in container B. So this is the basis of pressure. So the way we represent pressure is we just consider the molecules and then how they hit the walls. And uh, pressure is defined as force per unit area. And uh, uh, the unit of pressure is Pascal. And unit of force is Newton. And unit area is meter square. Therefore, the SI unit of pressure is Pascal. And the pressure exerted by the Earth at atmosphere, we call it as the atmospheric pressure. Continuing with the units of pressure, you saw that the SI unit of uh, pressure is Pascal. Now we do measure pressure in other units. The common units which we use, will use, you usually use are millimeter Ag. And the conversion of millimeter Ag to Pascal is also given over there. Pressure is also measured in torr and uh, one torr is the uh, how much it is equal to Pascal is given there. The other unit we measure which is not very common is bar. One bar is 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. And the most common unit we measure is the atmosphere ATM and 1 ATM equals 101325 Pascal and 1 ATM is equal to 760 torr or 1 ATM equals 760 millimeter. Barometer is the one which measures atmospheric pressure and manometer measures the pressures other than the atmospheric pressure. So all you have to remember is, um, you don't have to remember any of these conversions, but remember that we have so many units for pressure. So depending on the question, we should use the appropriate unit. So let's do the first question. The pressure of carbon dioxide gas in a container is 1.35 atmosphere. Express this pressure in SI units, tor, millimeter and bar. Simple unit conversion. Therefore, you can see that I have converted the atmosphere into Pascal using the conversion unit. Then the atmosphere has been converted into tor. Then atmosphere is also converted into millimeter and bar. So, none of these unit conversions have to be measured. You just have to learn how the process can be done. Basically, tor and millimeter, you can see that it is the same unit. But there are places we refer it as tor, or there are places we refer it as millimeter. Calculate the pressure in atmosphere, tor and pascal exerted by a column of water that is 15.1 meter high. Density of water is given and the gravitational constant is also given. So the formula we are going to use is P equals HDG. So what is important in this formula is the units. The unit of pressure should be Pascal, PA. The unit of height should be meters and the density should be expressed in kilogram per meter cube. So the gravitational constant can also have the unit of meters. So it's uh, very important about the units. Now, once you know the uh, your, uh, values, I can just substitute the values into it. H is given in meters. Then comes the density. I have converted the density from grams per centimeter cube to, kilogr uh, to kilogram per meter cube. And then uh, gravitational value is uh, used as is. And I get the value of pressure in Pascal. Then you can see that the Pascal value is converted into atmosphere. And then also to a mercury column of height 42.5 cm and column of water of height 578 cm exerts the same pressure. Density of water is given. Calculate the density of mercury. So the formula I am going to use is P equals HDG. So in this case the pressure of Ag is equal to pressure of water. 
So in the previous case, the units were very important. But here, it, since I'm equating two pressures, if I have the same units on both sides, it would work. Therefore, the pressure of mercury, I can use it in centimeters itself, 42.5 centimeters, because the, I'll get the other answer is also, the other height is also in centimeters. So pressure is HDG, so H is 42.5. So I'm asking for the density of mercury and the gravitational force, which I don't need it because it's going to get cancelled. The height, the other height is given, the height of water, then the density of water is given. So here, as far as, uh, it's not as difficult as the previous one. In this case, whatever the units you use for mercury, use the same units for water, and then you will get the density of mercury in the same unit which you have used uh, for the density of water and therefore the units I'm getting is grams over centimeter cube. So the figure shown over there um, tells you how to calculate the pressure using a manometer. There are three different ways a uh, question can be asked. If you look at the one that's A, A that's a closed end mano manometer. In a closed end manometer, the pressure of the gas is the height of the mercury column. So very simple. So whatever height they show the mercury column on the closed end, that will be the pressure of the gas. Now, in, there are uh, two options for an open end manometer, cases B and C. And if you look at uh, B, the, there are two uh, hands for the manometer. One hand is attached to the pressure of the gas uh, of the uh, to the gas cylinder. The other one is open to the atmosphere. If you see that the height in the gas end is taller as compared to the height in the open end, the formula we are using is pressure of the gas plus height is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere. And look at uh, C. In this case. Uh, you see that the height of the at, uh, open end is larger than the height. The black thing is the one which uh, tells the height of the mercury is larger than the one, the, the hand to which uh, the, it is attached to the gas. So you will see that in that case, the calculation is pressure of the gas is equal to pressure of the atmosphere plus the height. The formulas are different. So we will apply this formula and uh, try to calculate the pressure of certain gases. Thanks to the website which is mentioned over there for giving me the pictures. So let's do a question. An argon flask is connected to an open-ended mercury manometer. It's an open-ended one. The atmospheric pressure is given. The mercury level in an open arm is 48 millimeter, lower than the arm connected to AR flask. What is the pressure of air, uh, argon in atmosphere? So when you look at the picture given over there, this is similar to case B because the mercury level in open arm 48 millimeter is lower. So therefore, that, uh, it's case B is the one we are using and the formula for case B is pressure of the gas plus height is equal to pressure of the atmosphere. So calculating the pressure of the gas is easy. The atmospheric pressure is given as 750 millimeter and the height is 48 and hence the pressure of the gas is 702 millimeter. So I've calculated in millimeter. I just converted the values in atmosphere also. So all you need to know is the three different formulae and three different ways the manometer can measure the pressure. A krypton flask is connected to again an open-ended mercury manometer. The atmospheric pressure is given. The mercury level is open arm is 72 millimeter higher than the arm connected to the argon flask. What is the pressure of krypton in atmosphere? So look at the figure over there. It says the mercury level open arm is 72 millimeter higher. So the open end mercury level is la are higher. Hence, this is similar to case C. So now the formula I'm going to use is P gas equals P atmosphere plus P height. And then um, P gas will be equal to atmospheric pressure is 748 millimeter and the height is 72 and the pressure of the gas is 820 millimeter. And I convert that into 
the value of atmosphere using the conversion unit. A neon flask is connected to a closed ended mercury manometer. Uh, the mercury level in the closed arm is 342 millimeter above that in the arm connected to the flask. What is the pressure of neon in atmosphere? So refer to the figure. Since it is a closed end, I have only one option and uh, height is given. So its situation is CA and uh, pressure of the gas is equal to the height. There is no atmosphere here and hence the pressure of the gas is 342 millimeter. So, if you want, convert the pressure into atmosphere using the conversion unit, 1 ATM equals 760 millimeter. 